everyone today we are in second life and uh, the other day I was thinking of making a, a little movie theater for myself where customers can come in and watch videos and I didn't have any chairs so I thought well maybe I can buy some movie chairs but then I went to the marketplace and I couldn't find any that were the specs that I wanted I don't need fancy chairs. I just need chairs for people to sit in to watch a movie. Um, and I'm more focused, you know, I would be more focused on saving, you know, you're going to have a lot of chairs, so I'd be more focused on saving as many prims as I could, not using up all my prims just on these chairs for the theater. So I decided to make my own because I figured that other people might need the same kind of thing. And this will work perfect for a movie theater. It would work perfect for a, a sports stadium or anything like that. And you can change the color, of course. So let's move over to this building here, which might become my movie theater. Who knows? But for display purposes, we'll use it. And if we go to my inventory and find my chairs. So I have my theater chairs there. Um, I'll res uh, three different versions of the chair. There are three different versions in the set. Um, here we go. And there. So these three different versions, you know, one just have both arms and the two end ones have one arm on either end. That way you can um, put them together however way you want and there will always be one arm between every chair. But real quickly here, you can see the land impact. So this one with two arms has a land impact of one. If we look at the more info, each one of these numbers, these three numbers, download physics server, the highest number of, the, of whatever those three are will be your land impact. So download is one, so this chair is one prim. If we look at one of the other chairs, you'll see that it says land impact one but you look at if you look at more info the highest number is the server which is 0.8 so this is really only 0.8 prims and in most cases for most meshes they're always fractions of a prim or 5.5 prims there's always a fraction in there depending on the size of each mesh so when you start linking the meshes together, that's when you start having more and more savings. And the more meshes you link together, the better your savings are going to be. So now I'm going to show real quick how to line these up and link them together. And uh, whenever you're trying to line things up, uh, it's generally not the Z coordinate that you need to mess with because that's up and down. Uh, but you always want to check it. Uh, but it's just, you usually have to line up either your Y or your X. Okay, in this case, it is the Y. So I'm going to select that Y coordinate. I'm going to hold uh, Control Copy and copy that number. Then I'm going to go to the other chair, and I'm going to paste in that number. So just like that, now my two chairs are aligned along the Y, and I can move it along the X and match it up right next to each other. So I want, just want to get the spacing correct right there. And now I can just start copying this one chair until I have as many chairs as I need for this row. And I think I'm going to go with eight. So we have two there. I'm going to hold shift. If you hold shift and then you use one of these arrows and pull it like that, you'll make a copy of that chair. So I'll pull this out. See if I'm lined up good. That doesn't look bad. And I'll hold shift, make another copy, check my alignment, make another copy, and that looks not bad. Shift, make another one. So just this easily, you can make as many chairs as you want. What do I have? Six there. So I need two more, shift and move, and then shift and move. So just like that, I have all of my chairs that I want for a row. And here's where we're going to have our savings. 
So now how you link these together, you have to select them all. So I have one chair selected. I'm going to hold shift and then I'm going to click on each one of the other chairs. Now, once we have them all selected, you'll see at the top it says eight objects selected, land, land impact eight. Okay, now let's hit link to link those all together. And now you'll see that the land impact changed to six. So we're saving two params by linking them together. And if we look at more info, we can look at it a little closer. And you'll see the highest number is the server, and that says six. And it's pretty much six on the dot there. So now we have our first row. And I'll turn this to face the wall that's going to have the screen. Oops, I must have collided with myself there. And let's move these chairs over closer to the wall, right about there. And maybe I'll get it a little closer to the screen like that. So now we have eight chairs in our set. And just like we could copy the chair by holding shift and moving the arrow, we can do that with this whole set. So now I'm going to hold shift, use this green arrow, and slide it over. So that created a copy of that set of chairs. And now I'm going to move it to the other wall like that. And now we have 16 chairs. And I'm going to select this other set of chairs. And I'm going to link those two together. So now we have 16 chairs, and that works out to a land impact of 12. Now we have our first row started, and it doesn't get uh, much easier or different from here. Now we'll, we have our one row. We're going to hold shift, grab the red arrow, make our uh, the next row, let go, hold shift, move the next one. And just like this, we're just creating rows of chairs. I have no idea how many this is going to work out to be in the end, but I'm just going to fill this space because these chairs are so cheap as far as land impact goes. And of course, I could keep going. Um, maybe one more. Let's just do one more. There we go. So we have all of our rows of chairs. Now you could space them out more evenly if you want. Um, I just did this real quick. And how many rows do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times um, 16. So what do we have there? Uh, for 128, is that right? And again, because like I was saying about linking, anytime you can link meshes together, you should do that. So now we only have each set of rows linked so now let's link them all together so select each hold shift and select each row of chairs and now we'll you notice this says 95 land impact when we link them all together oh it was kind of calculating it that way anyways so we had 128 and that works out to 96 prims i mean that's pretty uh crazy the savings that we're getting there but that's a quick look on how to link them together. And I'll show you a couple other things about these chairs. They have animations in them. So each chair has six animations and a script. So I could sit in any one of these chairs and use those animations. I just need to click whatever chair I want. It's that easy. But because each chair has six animations and a script, you might, if you have 30, 134 chairs, you might not want to have all those scripts in there. So I've also made these chairs so that they don't need to have the animations or the script. So I have a version I call no NM, and you can make your whole, all of your chairs just with um, no scripts or animations, and it'll still work the same. It will just use Second Life's default sit instead of the animations that I provide. So uh, that's a quick look at my little theater here, my theater chairs, and have a good one, everyone.